Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas Is You alone annually brings the singer millions of dollars, and the biggest holiday songs are becoming more profitable every year as streaming has increasingly dominated the music market, according to Billboard. Holiday music is becoming more profitable, even for decades-old songs, thanks to the rise of streaming as the dominant form of music consumption. Instead of making money from a fan's singular purchase of a song, artists and labels are earning bigger profits than ever from holiday music because streaming monetizes every play, Billboard reported. Overall streaming revenues hit $13.3 billion in 2022, according to the Recording Industry Association of America, up from $1.57 billion in 2015. In 2019, Billboard reported the streaming and sales units, compared with just the sales units from a decade prior, of holiday songs had jumped at least tenfold for some of the biggest Christmas classics. Andy Williams's It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year sold 52,000 downloads in 2008, but sold and streamed the equivalent of 839,000 units a decade later. Bobby Helms' Jingle Bell Rock jumped from 89,000 tracks sold in 2008 to 843,000 units in sales and streams in the same time frame. In recent years, artists and labels have stepped up promotion of holiday songs. When, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, finally topped the Hot 100 this year, Lee thanked her label, stating it, has come to bat. This year, Lee released the song's first ever music video and joined TikTok, where she posts videos promoting, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, and reflecting on its 65-year legacy. In 2019, when, All I Want for Christmas Is You, hit number one on the Hot 100 for the first time, Carrie released a new music video to celebrate the song's 25th anniversary. She promotes her Christmas music on social media every year, and she embarked on holiday concert tours in 2022 and 2023. To promote, Santa Tell Me, which has inched closer and closer to the Hot 100's top 10 since its 2014 release, Ariana Grande released a, Naughty, remix of the song on Monday, which Billboard reported could propel the song past its peak of number 12. Lee, at age 79, is having her most successful holiday season yet thanks to, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, finally topping the Billboard Hot 100, 65 years after the song's release. Lee broke plenty of chart records when her song topped the chart last week. She became the oldest person to ever reign atop the chart and, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, is the oldest song to hit number one. She became just the third artist to top the Hot 100 with a holiday song following, The Chipmunk Song, by The Chipmunks with David Seville and Carrie's, All I Want for Christmas Is You. Lee also broke Carrie's annual dominance of the Hot 100 during December. Carrie has topped the Hot 100 every holiday season since 2019. But this year, Lee's song has forced Carrie to settle for the number two spot for two straight weeks.